I posted a picture of me and Sophie and people were like, two mothers. I was like, how is she also? I don't think I understand this mother thing if this little 23 year old is also a mother. Melanie, you've had so many roles. So when you look past over your career, like what stands out to you, do you think? Some things stand out because personally they meant a lot. Like, you know, there was a movie that very few people saw, but it's where I met my husband, you know, things like that. So I'm, I'm not very good at like isolating the things and what they mean to the world at large. Oh, heavenly creatures. It was my very first acting job. Yeah, I had done school plays before this. Um, just how fortunate I felt to be doing a movie. I couldn't believe it. You know, we had all these night shoots and stuff like that and I just was like, this is magic. I'm up in the middle of the night. I'm doing a movie. I can't believe it. Um, and then how wonderful Kate was. You know, she's such a brilliant actress and Peter Jackson, just his patience with me and his willingness to um, help me learn. It was, it was a great experience. It is, but I'm a cheerleader. Okay. I did an Australian accent in this movie. Everyone's like, she has her own accent. I'm doing an Australian accent. Um, this is a very special movie to me. It's where I met my very best friend, Clea Duvall, and another dear friend, Natasha, who I had just worked with um, on Detroit Rock City. This movie is a uh, sexual awakening for many people. I would say it was definitely for me. Um, but the cast is so incredibly heavy if you think about where you've all come to today. I know. But do you ever like, at the time you're filming, you're looking around and then was there a thought of like, oh, we're all gonna go to like such high places? No, I, I mean, it's amazing when I look back. It makes me very emotional, honestly, to look back and and see how little we were and see how far everyone's come. I'm so proud of them all. That's funny, it, it is a lot of people's sexual awakening. I think a lot of that has to do with Claire. Like, she's pretty foxy in that movie, honestly. Oh, two and a half men. Well, this is so funny because I auditioned for a guest star. It was a character that was gonna just be in the pilot. And I was like, how fun to do a sitcom. What would that be like? And then the character was Great, you know, so they asked me if I wanted to stay on, and I I did. It was a bit of a tricky one because the show got so popular. I wasn't prepared to kind of commit to something being my only job for the next however many years, 13 years that show went for. So I was very, very lucky that they let me get out of my contract and come and go, so I was recurring for the last decade of the show. Because I just was like, I need to be able to do other things. Oh, 100%. And the popularity of the show, I'm sure you can never prepare yourself for people kind of seeing you as one role. I started to feel that. The second year that I was on the show, I went and auditioned for a big director. I'm not going to name names. Um, and he was like, you're really good. And I said, oh, thank you. And he was sort of surprised. And he said, yeah, because they said you're working on a sitcom. Aren't you on Two and a Half Men? And I was like, I am on Two and a Half Men. He was like, well, you're good. And I was like, oh God, is this how people are thinking of people who are on sitcoms? So I just kind of made a career decision, I guess. And I'm so grateful they let me do that. And it was really fun to come back when I did come back. Oh, <laughs> how funny that I talked about this movie. The Big Ask, it was called Teddy Bears and they changed the title. I think that was for the best. Probably. <laughs> well, I think with my accent, people always thought I was saying something else. Aw, we loved each other. I mean, we love each other now, but we were trying, we were trying to act like we didn't really love each other then. Aw, look at his cute face. My cute husband. A rarity for people to have the early stages of their relationship on camera. Yeah. So is it something that you ever watch back between the two of you? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's why I was kind of like fascinated. I was like, oh my God. Maybe one day we can show our daughter, although maybe not, because we have like a sex scene in it. She doesn't want to see that. Maybe you just edit around that. Like, yeah, <laughs> just be like, <laughs> fast forward. But do you look back at the time with the filming and obviously how you guys met 
and just think about how, you know, stars align that you just kind of were in the same place at the same time and that's started this. Yes, we were the only two actors who just got offered the movie. It was a very, very hard time in my personal life. And I think if I'd had to audition, I would never have gotten the job. I was so distracted. I almost dropped out of that movie so many times because I was just depressed and crying and I kept saying to my agent, like, I think I've got to drop out of this movie. I was going through a breakup and I was losing my mind, like literally a crazy person. So I, even driving to go do the movie, I was like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And then you just never know. Stars align and then Yeah, <laughs> stars align and then it takes a few years and then people figure things out and then happily ever after, yeah. I don't even know what this is. Oh, <laughs> it's like, what is this? What's this outfit? It's Don't Look Up. I'm throwing pills at Leonardo DiCaprio. I was very nervous. This, it was my first day of work. So first day of work, you get to launch pills yeah. at Leonardo. And I had not met him. I didn't know him at all. I was really grateful that Kate was there because she and I are friends. So I was already like fine with Kate. So if, once upon a time, if someone had said, you will be comforted by the presence of Kate Blanchett on a set, and I would have been like, what are you talking about? Um, but she was very comforting. And then we just lay on a bed in our hotel room in between setups and talked and talked and talked. It was super fun. No, another great experience, The Last of Us. Just great. Just a great, great time. The Last of Us has really like captured the world. Did you think? making or even when you got cast for it, it was gonna like take over as much as it has? No. I mean, I knew how great it was and I love Craig Mazin so much. And my husband, it's my husband's favorite video game of all time. So he was excited, but I don't know video games. I don't know what that translates to, you know, something Jason likes, I don't know. Um, I was very naive about the impact. I feel so lucky to be in this show. I thought the show was amazing. It's incredible. It's really good. It's absolutely incredible. And I saw like people really were tweeting everything at you. Like, Mother, <laughs> it's been tweeted at you. Yeah, a lot of that, which is always a bit confusing to me. I posted a picture of me and Sophie and people were like, two mothers. I was like, how is she also? I don't think I understand this mother thing if this little 23 year old is also mother. Mother is almost like, a, it's for the queer community and they see you as a mother in the queer, commu queer community. And I think honestly it probably started from, um, but I'm a cheerleader. You see the people Aww. that you look up to as you're coming out slowly and that is mother. Yeah, <laughs> that's really sweet. Well that makes sense for this old lady, but then why Sophie? Sophie just got... Oh, it, age is, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. Age is regardless, it's like, it's ageless. Anyone can be mother. Oh, <laughs> thank you for taking the time to explain. <laughs> <laughs> it's really helpful. I have some other questions too. Oh, don't worry, we can, we can have offline about it. <laughs> so many things, I'm just like, I'm old, I don't know what that means. Oh, Jeff. Love Jeff. What can you tell us and what should we be expecting in season two? Season two oh gosh. is so crazy. <laughs> It's so crazy. Um, oh, this is fun. This is his, there's no book club moment. He was so funny. Who was he? I just love Warren. I love working with Warren. It's super fun. I know that some people have seen six episodes of the new season. I think that's as many as anyone has seen. And the last three episodes of the season are so intense. It almost feels like people have not seen the season. So I'm excited for people to get to watch it and see some of the craziness. There's one thing that happens that is so upsetting. <laughs> it's so what upsetting. I cried when I read it and then I was like, just going about my daily life and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. It's really haunting. It's awful. Okay, I'll um, me mentally prepare, mentally prepare yeah. then, because season one had some moments. Um, but thank you so much for running through your roles. Thank you for choosing such wonderful, happy memories. <laughs> no it was a pleasure, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, it was fun. 
I can imagine. Really good. Thank you for showing, like, <laughs> there are some movies I would have been challenged to say something positive about. So all of these, I'm like, what a great time that was.